I'm gonna mark that. Oh, no. Oh, stop it. Hopefully I can get this in one try. All right. I'll take that, even though that's not the way I wanted to win. I wanted my triples. Keep going. Oh. It's gonna be rough. Ah. Life is hard. Hey. All right, well, life is hard. <laughs> this is why we saved beforehand. <laughs> Dang, man. I'm getting obliterated over here. Almost uh, pretty much half my money is already gone. Uh, I think that's good for me. Yep. Okay. And another five. Me a triple five or something, or a four, five, six. That would be really nice. Hey, 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, a three is, uh, is, is, is it can happen. So it's a tie. Do I lose? Okay. Some games out there is like, nah, you gotta beat me in order to get the money. I'm like, come on, man. Oh. Where'd all that money come from? Does, does the thing carry over from the draw? Because that would be... Crazy. This is why we save. <laughs> oh man. Uh, things were looking up too. I just had to win that one. Like, if I won that one, it would have been all good. But life is hard. Sometimes you just can't win them all. Times you gotta lose them all. You gotta make the game feel like it's it's getting its money too. Because, you know, otherwise how is the game gonna afford anything? It's so much pressure on the game. It's gotta afford repairs and all that. I mean, how else are the typos gonna get fixed? It's interesting that when they do these re-releases and things like that, they don't actually fix any of the typos or translation issues, uh, bugs or like that. Which, in, in a lot of respects, that's actually a good thing. Uh, like, for example, like speedrunners, uh, you know, they, they like all their bugs intact. Um, and a uh, fun fact, actually, uh, back in my days of being a uh, a game tester, uh, Nintendo is very notorious for. Well, I wouldn't say notorious, but um, they uh, they work hard basically to keep games 
uh, the way they originally were. Uh, as long as there's not like games that will cause crashes or anything like that. Oh, gosh. Uh, they will leave bugs in games purposefully. Uh, a good example is like Super Metroid. Uh, there's a few skips and things like that. Uh, like there's a Mother Brain um, bug where you could do some crazy stuff during the fight. And Nintendo is just like, yeah, thanks for reporting that to us, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep that in there. Oh. Shout out to Nintendo. Wow, I'm paying double. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm getting jabated on these kind of things. So a shout out to Nintendo. A shout out to Sony. Thanks for the nostalgia trip. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that was just one of the games that I got to... Uh, to test. Um, there was a couple others. Well, there was many others, but that was one of the ones that that was one of the the first games that I actually a hundred percented was Super Metroid, and it was solely because of me just trying to you know find everything and and do that. Um. I also 100%ed F0. You go you go and try to 100% F0 getting uh what is it? Um beating all difficulties with all vehicles. That is a tough thing to do. Especially uh, I believe it's the yellow car. The handling on that car is so ridiculous. Oh, there's no way I'm winning. Yeah. Starting off getting body. Believe. <laughs> you gotta work hard to do all that. Especially especially on hard. There is so much rubber banding in F Zero, it's ridiculous. Game is not easy. Uh yeah. Take that. You could beat F-Zero on the hardest difficulty, master all leagues, never use that horrid yellow car. <laughs> yep, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say I had to beat it on all difficult, or um, on, well, all, all vehicles, but I had so much time, like we had so much time to, to test it, that like that was basically, everything that I had to do. So I I beat it on all the difficulties with all the cars on all the difficulties. And uh, no one else on my team, because we had a, a team of people that would work on like, uh, uh, we're going to call it a collection of games. Hey, give me my money. And Uh, what's the best way to describe this? Um, like, we were all assigned our certain games, but once we finished, a, like, a, a game, we could move on to another one, or we could play, you know, any of the other ones, too. We just needed to make sure that we had our game locked down first. So, uh, first of all, nobody wanted F-Zero. Uh, and second of all, nobody else could handle F-Zero. It was, uh, it was good times. Uh, I think I'm going to lose this one. Oh. My money. Finally. At worst, you could use blue for the King League because the fire field is rough and you needed better acceleration, but yeah, yellow. <laughs> yellow was rough. I'm, I'm glad you understand the pain that is the yellow car. The handling on that thing is ridiculous. 
Okay, so I need to, well, I mean, I guess I don't need to uh, bump these guys up. Um, I want to, at the very least, Kasumi. and you can't use the ninja suit? Or do you already have one? You already have one. Okay. It all makes sense now. We will buy, uh, what is it, guard rings? Two guard rings for the home. Alright, let's go turn in this paint. I mean, he'll take it. The handling, the top speed, the pace at which it takes damage. <laughs> it was all so horrible. It needed so much improvement. And, you know, don't get me wrong. It took me a really long time to get it. Like there's a lot more paint out there. That freed up his inventory, right? Yeah. thing I need to do is improve people's weapons. I'm gonna go do that real quick and then I'm gonna go through some old dungeons. See if I can find some new recruits. You, do li you just like the yellow car so much you don't remember its name? You do recall the other three. I don't remember its name either. stuff. Third sword. He has a sword. Why is he a long-ranged guy? Okay. Who was not too far behind? That's nice. Ultra shooting game. Just like that. All that money. Alright, can I recruit you now? I don't know what's up with that guy. I brought Moose to him once. He, uh, he didn't care. Beat Neck Lord. He didn't care. Don't understand. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Neck Lord's castle. The closest one. And this place does seem like a place that would have somebody sneaking in here doing something they shouldn't probably playing the organ or something like that that zombie guy is gone the and oh i guess these guys are of level Oh, my archers are out in front. Unite ninja attack. Ah, it's single target. Okay. 
Oh, big damage! This is why I wanted to bring the ninjas. Because first of all, ninjas are cool. Second of all, uh, ninjas are cool. Yeah, we'll roll with that. Most HP in the front. Uh, so Kylo was saying that there could potentially possibly be a candle puzzle here. Ooh, I wonder if I'm getting encounters because I have some lower level. Right, so that the way I'm. Hello? Oh, how did I get over there? This makes uh, uh, me choosing commands uh, much faster as well. I have to go through uh, six people. Or four people. Can we stop getting this uh, enemy configuration? Please? Good money, but uh, my goodness, a little suspicious of that one for some reason. this particular one. I guess it's fine, you know. 14,500 uh, bits. Uh, not too bad. For, is that like 15 seconds of work? 20 seconds? So that is the way to go. I guess there could be something with these coffins. Ah, uh, listen to that music. Looks comfortable. Do you want to stretch out in it? Just for a moment. Huh. Interesting. I certainly wasn't expecting that. I've gotten this enemy configuration every single time. Makes me think there's some some sort of higher purpose here. I've I've triggered some special uh, uh, seed or something like that. All right, I can't do anything with that statue. those so we move on
there. I remember checking that one. Yeah. I saw a little like little thing there, but it's on all the floors. It doesn't matter. Alright, ain't nobody at Neck Lords. Oh! There's a treasure chest that I missed though. Dungeons do I have? Oh. I know I can do all that. All righty then. Rage rune can be used. I don't have any more whatchamacallit. I can't use this inside. Alright, well I guess I'm walking out. Life is hard. Uh, let me see, what other dungeons? I done that I haven't been back to uh probably a couple caves now there's there's definitely a couple caves I like this door simulator, there's lots of doors. Oh yeah, that's, that's one thing that I haven't talked about is practical dungeon design in this particular game. Seems pretty non-existent. Well, except for like the caves. I guess this guy's a vampire, so what are you gonna do? Honestly, you hate realistic dungeons? What? You're gonna have to elaborate on that one for me, Dante. Cause like, like I, in a, in a lot of ways, there's not anything wrong with realistic dungeon, but at the same time, uh, wouldn't a realistic dungeon be more? I don't know, uh, immersive, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, they make too they make too much sense and they're easy to understand there's nothing you love more than randomly constructed dungeons uh, that are completely frustrating to explore and irk you with their s sets of dead uh, I guess dead end staircases and randomly placed rooms that have no purpose oh man <laughs> Those are the ones that bug me the most. It's like, why do you have a dead end in this in this dungeon? It makes no sense. Uh, if we just start from here, I wonder if we can recruit these guys yet. How have you never heard of us, man? Uh, 
Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get the sarcasm at all. No, it's text, so rough times. Uh so I went to the dwarves uh trail and I went to the, the vault. I went to Panu Yakuta. Uh, Sunny Air. I don't think I recruited seven people, but I could, I could see. Oh, oh, this is this place. I definitely went into this place. Positively excellently. Uh, and look at those. These rose ones are different too. Um, yeah, I definitely. Remember when you played Persona? The amount of nonsensical dead ends drove you nuts? That, that stuff really, really does get to me. Like, not not in the sense of like, oh my gosh, this freaking game, but, you know, just, oh my gosh, this freaking game. Uh, I think it was that Kuron, maybe? Especially when the dungeon is difficult. That was tough. All right, I'm in, and... Betting on the Liberation Army, glad to be of service. All right, I got Quincy. Yeah, it's nice. Man, I still... Okay, so... Northern Checkpoint. Can't do anything there. Uh, Q-Lon, also known as Klon. I haven't been there twice. I guess I could go back there. Oh yeah, there was this guy. I have no idea where the war scroll is. In a lot of respects, I have been too. All right, so this would definitely be a dungeon with secret passageways and all those shenanigans. I'm also pretty certain I did not explore this entire dungeon. Really? Don't we have homeboy slides with the thing? These, there's no way these guys are out of level. You know, sarcasm over Texas heart? It show sure is. I struggle with it every day. I even struggle with regular sarcasm. Oh, that's what we call a secret. Window crystal. I bet you that's for that one guy. Let's just see if everybody can one-shot one these guys. All right, good job, everybody. You forgive it in dungeon crawlers, but not in regular story-driven RPGs. Yeah, I, I think it has a place. Uh, there are definitely games out there that benefit from from that design. Um, there's a streamer that I've been watching recently. He's playing uh, Etrian Odyssey, and uh, that's a game that I will never play. Uh, but uh, you know, that game's like a dungeon crawler where you gotta, like, map out the dungeon as you go, and I have no idea what's going on in that game, but, you know, I... It, it seems interesting to watch. It seems obnoxious to play. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it certainly has a place in a game like that.
Uh, you're 5,500 AP from capping your neck. Uh, you have come to the end of the journey. You know, once you cap the neck, you realize that you'll be neck lord. If you're neck lord, that means. Oh. Brow or Crowley? Or Crowley. Uh, ho ho, you found me. I didn't think anyone would come here. Recruit me? Hmm, perhaps when the castle's a little bigger, I'll consider it. You sucker, I, I went into this dungeon. I don't even know how to get out of here. Alright, I'm pretty sure that guy's probably, uh, like a super powerful dude or something. Who knows how many people you need for him. Alright, well now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Uh, and I guess I kinda know where he is. Uh, I kinda feel like a lot of the people that I need to recruit, I just need more people. Escape talismans, because that's what I really need right now. Really, really badly. Guess you're neck lord now. <laughs> uh, you like Etrian Odyssey series, one of your favorite series? You forgive it in games like that because they are precisely about dungeon crawling. Exactly. Like I, I, I I'm fine with that. You can you can have that. Oozin cave. Hey, Smiggy. Thank you for the 19 months, my man. What have you been up to? I haven't seen you in a while. And uh, how, how's how's work? How's uh how's the tea? Almost two years. Yep, you're getting there. So that was Clon Loramore. What is that place? Or Loramar. Uh, there is that guy in Kaleka. I'm guessing he still doesn't want to join you. Nobody else in here, right? Just came back from the casino? Are you old enough to go to the casino? What are you doing, man? And she's like... I don't know. I don't know. What are you doing in the casino, man? Oh, yeah. This was where uh, Home Chick Slice was. I did recruit everybody and their mama. You lost tonight, but you gained wisdom. It was worth. Oh, this guy's new. Oh my, you've gone around tasting all my stews. You must be someone special if you appreciate the taste of my stew. I see the leader of the Liberation Army. No wonder. Well then, I'll join your entourage. I think I only tasted two stews in this entire game. Uh, so go me. I didn't even know you could taste stews until I tasted my second one. Uh, yeah, you're 19? Is 19 old enough to go to casinos? Oh. Uh, I guess, I guess it is. If. Uh. Alright, well, that guy still doesn't want to join my squad. 19 is still young. 19 is still young. 
You've got a whole world ahead of you. Tea is going very well. You got all your new teas, etc. How's uh how's uh I forget the pun. Okay, so I've basically been everywhere now. And Kylor said there were two places he could think of. I have no idea what places he speaks of. I gotta sneeze. Someday. This map here not being very helpful. Actually, there is one thing. I want to see if it's possible to quickly find out how many people I have. I think it's third floor. Oh, uh, when you're my age, you're, you'll be grumpy and irritating. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14 people per per page. Um, which means there is less than 10 pages and I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm missing 24 recruits. Twenty four. Out of a hundred and eight. Uh, what is that? Uh, eighty four that I have. Oh, this is interesting. Hmm. Templeton. Rock bottom. Uh, oh, you can actually use Lester. Oh, he has a pan. He has a pan. Oh my gosh. This is, that's what I, oh, he, he doesn't, he has a pan too. Never mind. Oh, Giovanni. Uh, let me see. Uh, Full-time work and full-time college. You're kind of creating a tea business, actually. Oh, snaps. And, uh, and oh, late game dungeons. Recent places I visited. I just visited, um, uh, Klon and found a Crowley or Crowley there. But that's the only place that, well, I guess I, have, I need to think of, like, other stuff. Where'd the music go, by the way? I could go back to the secret factory. I'm guessing the Dragon's Den is probably another place that would have it.
That's like the only other cave place that I haven't fully explored. And I don't know if I want to go trudging through that particular dungeon. Uh, so let's uh, continue with the story. Oh, actually, it is 9 o'clock. Um, uh, window guy. Want to recruit window guy. Uh, you personally decided to stop having birthdays? Just going to freeze your age and be chill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you, Dante. Once you stop counting, you just you just stay at uh, 27 forever. Hey, big brother, got anything good? I can tell, you know. You have something that's very precious to me, the window room. Please, can I have it? In return, I'll join the Liberation Army. Sure. Thank you. With this, I can become a good stained glass window maker. Right, I got him. Go talk to this guy one more time so I can be disappointed. A blacksmith is a blacksmith. I have an idea. I'm gonna go grab all of the blacksmiths and go to that guy. Uh, this plan cannot go wrong. some years. Oh yeah, 35. That is some years. Alright, so I have three blacksmiths, so let's get rid of all the, the ninjas. Uh, I don't remember all of their names. Uh, that's one of them. another one. And that one. Alright, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be sad. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing good! Uh, I got the day off tomorrow. Uh, you know. There's not much... There's not very many, uh, great things in life. And... Uh... Not having to go to work, but getting paid for not going to work. Osmus knows you've all joined the Liberation Army. Master Tier, if, or if they believe in you, so can I. You let me join. Yeah! Working off of a hunch. I got it. Alright. So... Now we're going to play off an even bigger hunch and try to recruit the very last blacksmith. Hold on. But I want to get all the blacksmiths into my party. It's tea time. <laughs> you know, in Trails of Cold Steel, too, Charon joins your party for a little while. And Aaron has a little tea party craft that is absolutely wonderful. Uh, what was this guy's name? I don't remember. It probably starts with Hopefully I don't have to fight any enemies in said dungeon that I'm about to go into because I am going to get destroyed. Basement. I should use all the blacksmiths in my party because of reasons. 
And he got me curious. Wait, if I use all the blacksmiths and I use black man, do I get something special? Oh, I can't teleport to that one place that I wanted to teleport to. I guess I have to take the dragon? Yes, I do. Hopefully it doesn't go through the whole, like, flying across the world thing. Totally is. Can't skip it. Oh, I was actually worried about dropping a bunch of frames today, but, uh, it's been a good stream. Alright, I'm gonna have to run away from every single encounter here. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? I got all the homies, man. All the homies. Three people, what do you want? You got a business? Go away. Recruit. British Army, you fellows still lack the power to change the world. Dang it. Gotta make the castle bigger. I forgot that's what he wants. Uh, so I just recruited another person, so I have 23 people left in the world to recruit. Uh, so, Blacksmith... Bigger Castle... Rally... More people. Uh, those are the only people that I haven't recruited. And that one character is lost forever? Yeah. I, I won't be able to get all 108 stars or what have you. Life is hard. Pawn just kind of... I, I didn't use Pawn, and he got one shot. Nothing I could have done. Dragon sounds like an elephant? It's actually... an elephant that drank a Red Bull. That's its uh, official designation. I wonder if you can play this game... Well, actually, I was just about to say, I wonder if you could play this game with only tier in your party. But you can't, because they force so many people in your party, so... Next thing I would say is, I wonder if you can play this game only with the required amount of people... Or the, the people that are forced to join your party. I wonder if that's possible. Grab my ninjas. Uh, uh, What's the next course of action? I don't remember what they wanted me to do. Oh, they wanted me to go to sleep. Uh, which I am not do. Probably doable, although some spots are probably a bit rougher. Those times you end up alone. Sounds like an interesting challenge, actually. It, it, it could be. 
bring the ruckus that way. You probably have to grind. Well, grinding, I guess, is kind of tough in this game, but you probably have to grind a little bit. All right. Well, that is where I'm going to wrap it up for today. Uh, a three hour stream today. Um, it's uh, two whole hours more than I normally stream and one more hour more than I've been streaming lately. It's, uh, it's crazy. Uh, I'm at 18 hours. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be beating this game at 20 hours. I, the way things are going, it seems like I got at least like five to eight more hours to go or something like that. So, um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, I mentioned that I have the day off, but I don't know if I'm going to do a morning stream or not. You now these things are always just up in the air for me. Um, but at the very least, um, if I don't do a morning stream that is going for like eight hours or whatever, I'll, well, actually, I'll just say I'll be back tomorrow, six o'clock p.m. Pacific. And if I do a morning stream, um, actually, you know, I'm not going to do a morning stream because uh, I, I still got to finish this video that I'm working on uh, and put that on YouTube this weekend. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific for more Suikoden 1. Peace.